Everybody say hi to Georgina. She's an entrepreneur, a bikini model, at the same time, my client for today's shoot. And we're gonna use her photo shoot to show you how you can do fantastic catalog shoot for swimsuits and bikinis. Hey, a quick note before we start photo shoot with Georgina, I wanna send you this message. We are celebrating our 1111 promo starting today. If you head onto my e-learning website here, two of our most popular courses, the All Access and also the Pro Cert program will undergo a big promo. So for All Access, instead of this price, you'll be enjoying it at this price. And if you plan to make money out of photography, you do not want to miss this course. The Pro Cert program is one of the most value for money, highly rated, and the most successful course that we have on my e-learning website. So starting today, we're celebrating our promo. You're gonna get these two courses at a special price. So quick, show me your love and support. Hey, good to have you back. I hope you have enjoyed these two videos that we have on our channel not too long ago. Now this video is an add-on to those two videos because I wanna focus on teaching you how to post a professional swimsuit and bikini model. And we are fortunate to have in the studio the bikini entrepreneur, Georgina herself. Let's start. Let's show viewers the first 15 to 20 minutes how sucky my photos are. Okay, one, two. Ooh. It was at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Why is it so under? Three histogram. Right, Gina, I want you to turn back to me a little bit. No, I mean... Okay, never mind. Just, just turn back a little bit and then sit down a little bit. No, no, not that sit down. I mean like... No, 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 you're fine. Uh, okay, all right. Look great. One, two, go. All right, what I want you to do later is, this is fine. I want you to like put more body weight on one side. Yeah, on one side, push it up a little bit more, right? And then the back always we try to get that curve. So to do that, eh, your leg, if it is not wide apart, you can't. So you need to like wide apart a little bit and then put your toe at the front of the opposite leg so that we can get that curve. Look at the floor now. I'm going to show you the photo. Very honestly, tell me what you look at the first thing when you look at the photo. Alright, you ready? One, two, go. I see the stomach first. Mm. You see that? That's yeah. because that the stomach shouldn't face the camera that much. Mm. So if she wanted to show the boobs more, which is fine, which is what swimsuit is about, this one away, this one to the front. Set. Right. So what happened is that one leg at the front a little bit, so this can fall forward. So there's a lot of top-down shot that makes your top look bigger than your bottom. The camera should be aiming towards your navel so that you will look taller. Camera settings. I always start my studio shoot by deciding what F value to use. In this case, I'm using F8 and then followed by my ISO. I'm using a lower ISO like this. And then finally, I choose a shutter speed value that doesn't break sync. Make sure that your white balance is always 5000 when I shoot shots like this. And file type and file size. I'm going to use JPEG, fine, large. I can give this photo immediately to Georgina without messing around with raw files. And then finally, I like to go to the file optimization and make sure that I use standard and boost the saturation a little bit so that her bikini photos look more colorful. Imagine that your belly button has an arrow. Okay, you point it to here first. Then your shoulder always turn back to me. Put your left leg to the back and see. Okay. Not nice, front. Good, then sit down a little bit on it. Yeah, a little bit more. Right, chin down a little bit. Good, one, two. That's nice, turn your shoulder back to me more. Right, one, two, and... No, it's not too bad. Not too bad. It's a little bit under though on this one. You are consciously sucking in your tummy a bit too much. So we want to get the hips a little bit more. So you're always a little bit down. Always a little bit down. A little bit, I'll help you to control. So you notice because your hair is full and you have 
big long hairs, so you see the top part is heavy and then the bottom is a bit too small. So we try to have the legs separated a little bit. Because when you, you are already slim, you suck in some more, you see the rib bones. Sit down a little bit. Yeah, turn your shoulder back to me a little bit more. Look here. Right, beautiful. Eyes straight with your nose. One, two, and... Eyes and nose must be together. When I talk to you, I look with my nose and eyes to you, right? Imagine now, I'm like this. Look at me. Hi, Gina, how are you? You get what I'm saying? I look hypocritical, I look suspicious, I look unhappy. So always, no matter where your head is, try to get your together. That's good, that's good. Yeah, good, nice. Hold that, I like that look. One, two, go. Hmm, perfect. Must smile, eh? Why I say you must smile a little bit, okay? The difference is that you're not doing high fashion. Mm. All right? Yeah. I know, we train models all to not smile and do that nonchalant, non-apologetic look like you have to buy this dress <laughs> like the Balenciaga model. But your selling online is different, so you want to have a little bit of a smiley face. The objective, I think, is very clear. Ladies look at you and a little bit jealous of you. You know what an online store model is? That they are jealous of you and then they go like, hey, if I buy this, I can look better than her. Mm. Okay? And then the guys would come in just to look at you that's the whole idea because guys don't buy bikini for themselves. But you know what I frequently do? I go to Wicked Weasel. Have you heard of Wicked Weasel? It's a brand from... Guys, check out their website. Right? They have like... Really, guys go there to look at it and they have these galleries of clients wearing the bikinis and showing off on their holidays. So I want you to head on to Wicked Weasel and explore how they actually do this. They are industry changes. I find that the top is a little bit heavier than the... Gina, do you think you can tie up your hair? Do you have hairband? What? Wait, do I have hairband? <laughs> <laughs> do you have hairband? <laughs> Separate your fingers like what they do in the Chinese opera. You got what I'm saying? Right, if you put them together, they're gonna look thick and fat, like a bunch of banana. So you're gonna like, separate it. Okay, so e even if you put to the side, the elbow is always in. Okay, you see what happens? If I do this, immediately I look feminine. But if I put it out, it, I look like a, like a man. So this is called an A shape, all right? So, you can actually do this. That's good. That's good. If I do it, it looks strange. If you do it, it's going to look nice. Turn a little bit. That's good. This hand, not to the front, to the side. So always imagine that you have a Velcro here and you have a Velcro here. So they are always together. Now take a look at these shorts. Always remember, if you put your forearm in the front and your fingers not separated, they're going to look a little bit manly. So what you can do, put them to the back and always have the upper forearm attach and closer to the body. That will make the shorts and poses look more feminine. And always remember, fingers separated like this. Here's what you do. Your arms are closed. Open them a little bit now. Right, there too. Right, good. So I'm gonna show you the difference. Left hand open a little bit more. The other way. The other way, rotate. Right, no, you still come back. This is closed. This is open. Right, okay. Back. Right, no, 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 don't too much, just a little bit. Out a little bit, good. And one, two, breathe, push, hips. Good. This looks like a man's hand coming from the back and touching your thigh. <laughs> this looks like your own hand. This is a man's pose, right? So I'm going to show you this. You just put under here, like so, okay, with your hands exactly like what Steve Jobs do, face to the front. No, the hands to the front. Right, good. This hand let go. All right, stand apart, then do this. Okay. And my point exactly, take a look at this shot. You notice that this is more like a man's arm compared to this one, more feminine. So always turn your wrist to face the camera more instead of closing it. Closed, open. All right. 
Okay, 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 okay. Uh, stop, stop, stop. Don't, don't touch your hand. Oh, no. Oh. Your hand was... <laughs> Your hand was nice when it was holding here, all right? So don't touch your hair anymore. That's beautiful, one, two. No, <laughs> not your hair. It's time to stop! Why do you keep touching your hair? <laughs> okay, look, if there's anything you want to touch, I would prefer to have the strap of the bikini, the bottom to be higher. Not the side, somewhere here. Right, where the, where the silver buckle is, the other side too. One of the things that will always make you look fatter and not so appealing or sexy would be the bikini a little bit too flat like this. Always pull the side so that it's a bit more curved like this and immediately you look like you have more hips and smaller tummy. Try this, it works all the time. Her job, her job has been putting it down the whole day and touching the hair. And then your job is just scratching your head. Oh! Hand here, maybe hold the strap. Right. Yeah, okay, that's good. Don't cover the design though. So you use this finger, right? Put it here, like this. No, not on the buckle, at the side, the strap. When I should close up, you need to accentuate a bit more. I know it looks ridiculous going to the pool like this, but for a catalog shoot, we need to push a lot more because it's so close up, that's beautiful. Index finger and the ring finger separate a bit. Right, separate it a bit more. All right, push, please, one, two, go. And this is an example of undecided fingers. Do I, do I put it, do I not put it? Should it be one, should it be two? And these are photos with well-decided fingers. Maybe you can follow this next time. Put your hand down. Right, that's good. One, two, chin higher, smile. Eyes don't look too much to your left. Look exactly where your nose is. And one, to smile this okay compared to this shot right so turn a little bit show off what your strength is and one two look here good eyes straight one two and smile wait let me check oh nice oh you're standing too much to the back your face is overexposed remember this do not cross these two lines so your face becomes too bright let's repeat that again Okay, and one, two, go. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Before you go, a big shout out to Georgina. Visit her online store and check out her collection of swimsuits and bikini. You know what's the best way to say thank you, I'm grateful, or even sorry to your partner when you did some shit wrong? Get her an amazing swimsuit from Georgina's online store. Her collections of swimsuits are really fun and stylish. And that's it. Head on to my e-learning website and check out my e-learning courses, my premium courses where every week we upload video lessons pertaining to photography, videography, lighting, Photoshop, editing, everything you can think of to make your photography better, we have it in our premium courses. And when you take premium courses combined with the e-learning, you get all access. So with all access, with one year subscription, you enjoy everything. Peace out. One, two, go. Then, good. Nothing wrong with her. She looks great. Look at the file number. One 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 I'm getting too old for this, so if you want to shoot Gina in bikini, you're welcome to be her photographer.